Well, I think we are getting ready. Hello, Katia, you are the first one. Let me just go. Hello, Moira. And hello, Karen. <laughs> Let's see if everything is in the good position. We are going to start in a moment. Uh, I'm very happy to see some of my YouTube members and I'm very happy to see my design team members. Katya is here already and my ambassador Karen. And um, we are going to start very, very soon. So this is the right moment to share the information. Uh, the live is going up now if you can post it for me on Instagram or Facebook that would be just great I just make sure everything is good position so you only see the project not my uh, apron for example so hi guys good to see you all hello hello we are going to start. Vo oh, Vasily is here. It's my big pleasure to have you all here. So guys, I'm getting ready. We are going to work on something a bit different. I really had a bit of hard time when I was getting ready for this live because when I looked at all the projects, they were so elaborate and so big. And I was planning on doing something really small today. I know, like one hour is not a lot of time. And I was thinking I can show you something that may be based on a little bit different techniques to the ones that were um, used in previous videos. So I decided to focus more on the process of alteration with minimal changes in the steampunk style. So, <laughs> Um, I was expecting some of you will use the rust paste, so my projects have no rust paste at all. And then I was expecting you're probably going to go for waxes because this is um, kind of like a you know, first guess if you think steampunk is going to be rust and uh, wax finish. So um, <laughs> I try to show you something different and I hope you're going to enjoy. Uh, liquid acrylics. Well, I don't have liquid acrylics, so I'm going to do something a bit different. I hope you're going to like that. I'm going to use um, a set of products you probably have at home already because they are not new at all. And uh, it may be something that you will enjoy uh, because it's good to find new ways of using things. So first of all, what is the surface we're going to work on? Uh, this is an old metal plate, which in fact is a plate that you are using to take photos in this old fashioned, uh, old fashioned camera. So I have plates like that. I'm sure you can imagine how big this camera was if that was going inside and that was the photo so in fact what you were getting out of that you were getting cabinet cards of this kind these kind of photos come from this uh, metal plate so I was thinking this is going to be great I'm going to use actual cabinet card the the one that um, you can buy sometimes on the free market so these are my adopted relatives <laughs> okay um, they are not my real relatives and I think this man looks uh, very nostalgic and uh, he may be my um, steampunk character today. And um, just to show you on the other side, there is handwritten dedication and it was from um, hmm, 1889. So I really have to make a beautiful project, so I won't ruin that. It says in Polish, Kochane muzyk Muntowi Dasińskiemu od przyjaciela, which means to beloved Zygmunt Dasiński from his friend. So this is an original one. 
thank you, Olga. Thank you so much for joining. So we are going to use it to make composition. You can uh, see this is one of the first steps and we are going to change the color of it as well to match. But first step I want to do is going to be adding some touches. So I'm going to use my stamps um, and uh, permanent ink stamps. This is a card postal uh, set I made from Art Daily Collection and there are quite cool elements in it. For example, very simple text um, stamping. So I'm going to use it to create a little bit more of interesting background in the cabinet card. And you're probably going to feel like, oh my God, I'm ruining beautiful old uh, image, but I usually scan them first, so I have copies. So please forgive me. I'm going to add personal touches to it and I can't keep them forever. I have this one for at least three years so it is high time uh, to do something with it and I'm just going to use these um, texts to make it a little bit more like real. Oh, not enough apparently. This is my step and I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to do a bit of that stamping in the background. So if you want to decide in the future what kind of ink would be the best permanent ink for mixed media is a very good solution because then you can be sure that your um, stamping is going to stay even if you decide that uh, you're going to paint on the top of that. Right? So... It's really up to you what you want to do. Oh, this is really cool, a round stamp. And I'm going to add last touches and then we were going to go to the background. <laughs> this set of stamps I made for my art daily collection. So um, for the journaling collection I made for Prima, I was trying to convince them that journaling is not dead and people <laughs> really want to create every day, small bits and pieces, they want to have this freedom. So if you don't know our Our Daily Cafe blog or Our Daily Cafe uh, Instagram account where we do monthly mood boards and we create projects based on that, I highly recommend. Okay, so this is my first step. I added touches to the cabinet card. This is original and you can see this is glossy so I will have to work with that. Second step is preparing the background. So I'm using one of these metal plates that are originals used for um, taking photos in the past. And um, that is um, already I had to start. So this is texture, which I made with very simple product, 3D gloss gel. So transparent texture, it's going to be more visible later. And I used one of my text stencils. This is Gothic. This is the one I used for this. And you can even see the number matching. I really wanted to make sure it's going to be visible. If you don't have Gothic, there is also manuscript, which is with similar effect of the text. And you will be able to get this kind of cool, more masculine looking design with it, okay? So hello to everybody. I can see we have 162 people on the chat at the moment, which is absolutely mind blowing. So please remember to give me thumbs up so we are more visible for the pos possible people who are looking for the interesting things to see. And we are going to do steampunk inspired relative frame or the relative portrait in this style. So. Stay with me and we are going to create together. I will try to read the questions. If something is uh, happening there in the background, Alexandra, she is my design team member, she's going to help. Tiffany, she is my design team member, she can also give some answers. Also, my husband is on the other side. And I can see friends joining from everywhere. I can see friends from California, from France, from Greece, uh, from... Sweden and this is absolutely lovely. So thank you so much for supporting this hop. Uh, there were amazing projects done before me and I'm sure there will be amazing projects also after me. So um, make sure you're going to visit all of them after me today is going to be 
Karen. Karen, she is using liquid acrylics, she told me just moments ago. Thank you so much for becoming a member of my YouTube channel. That is a great thing to do. I really, really appreciate your help. And if you uh, were here yesterday with me, you know already I started my Patreon account, which is even better. There's more options. And that is uh, the way you can support me as an artist so I can stay more at home and create content, free content for people and special content for my patrons, which I absolutely adore. So I started getting ready and I got elements that I suppose I'm going to use in my project. So as you can see, the selection of the found objects and um, some mechanicals that I made, which are similar to natural rusty elements. And I'm going to make composition out of that, but I have really cool stuff. I really wanted to show you in this video how you can incorporate um, real objects into your art. You don't have to only use um, elements which you will buy. You can uh, just find them in the garage as well. Also have pieces of lace. So I have to be quick. That's why I am going. Thank you so much for this lovely dog with the heart. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for the stickers. They really make my heart uh, soft. So thank you. Thank you. It was just lovely. So we're going to start with the composition. And if you are using a lot of stuff like this you're probably going to need something more thick to keep it in place and i'm going to use heavy body gel and i'm going to start with the biggest possible element this is piece like this thank you morgana thank you so much and thank you to anna we are our official uh, member of my youtube this is a uh, piece that you can find in your garage if your husband is doing some kind of the handicraft or if you do it yourself um, or you are just interested in any kind of thing. So I'm going to break it or try to cut it. And you know why? Because I only have one and I want to use it for the future project as well. So I'm very stingy. Perfect. <laughs> uh, this goes for the next project, right? So this is going to be my starting point and I'm going to glue it with the heavy body gel. <laughs> Thank you so much for supporting me. <laughs> you are so sweet. And I absolutely love <laughs> when you are doing things like that and I can't express how grateful I am, really. So first step, you can see I'm using quite a lot of gel. Now I need to make some composition that will go together with my cabinet card and for good balance let's go maybe with some found objects this one this one is quite big oh, that would be a nice start so now i need something on the bottom <laughs> for the good measure i will clean it later or maybe it's not going to be even visible i will see so it's like pressing oh thank you for the new member thank you delphine <laughs> thank you okay look at that that's a good start and then i think i want to use the clip as well clip is really cool thing but because of the clip i have to leave the whole composition up so cardboard i think cardboard is going to be very important at the moment I had some piece of cardboard here. I always have, so that is going to be perfect start. I have it from previous projects. You probably already suspect that I have everything on my table. <laughs> I loved when Luneka was showing heavy body gel and she was making the noises like, you have to press it and then it goes so you know, it just sticks. Yeah, that's exactly the way it works. So now look, perfect. It's going to hang a little bit over and I can go with some crazy ideas like this one. Okay, that's perfect. Yes, Nuneka, you are the best. That was absolutely great. This 
description of how you need to use your heavy body gel. <laughs> Squeeze it, press it until it goes. Yeah, that's nice. Maybe one more to support this big clock watch. <laughs> Yay! Well, guys, we have 195 people. Last time we were we had 200, so I'm wondering if we're going to beat that uh, number. I would love to have 200 people on, and I hope they're all going to go and visit um, next next artists which are after me. So, for example, Karen. <laughs> So I'm just sticking one inside here. This is old pocket watch. I'm yeah, and I'm cheating again. I just I'm going to stick this on the top. It's not really possible that quickly to to stick everything without using solutions like extra distance and heavy body gel. I'm sure you know what I'm doing, right? I'm just putting cardboard and I'm putting this on the top. I checked that before and it matches. And here I've got pocket watch. Not really pocket watch. The insides of the hand watch, like the one you put on your hands. Yeah. So that is the plan. This is going to sit here. So now it means I have to stick my photo in the right position. And you can see how much of the gel I'm using. It's because the elements are so heavy. Yeah. Now this one, it's going to sit on the, uh, on the cabinet card and on the cardboard at the same time. Let me show you closer the beginning of the composition. Okay, have I got it right? <laughs> I will try to add more here to for nicer details now. I'm going to slide more of these cogs. Sandra, thank you. You are amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. You are the best. And uh, I'm not going to throw confetti, but totally wings, happy wings for you, my dear, happy wings flying. <laughs> and I, in fact, I can use the wings now. Like, well, maybe, let's see if I can, I just need to break them. Um, yeah, that may work. I just don't want to put it on his face. That will be very unfortunate, right? No, too big. I will just use one on that side. <laughs> if you want to break these wings, you don't really have to use tools. You just need the edge of your table. And I know this is kind of funny, but uh, if you're going to break them on the edge of the table, it really works much easier than trying to use some special tools. And you don't need any, like, you know, cutter or anything. You can just do it. Okay. How is that? <laughs> I have some nice numbers. Maybe I'll add the numbers. I was thinking if I should add the lace as well, but I am not sure yet. Like he is quite serious, so maybe Maybe just one piece of lace here, like leaf. Oh, yeah, leaf. Once I got this lace, I just keep using it everywhere. You have to forgive me, I just love it. There are leftovers of the pieces that you can usually get um, when you are making wedding dresses or when you are making the um, table throws. So this is what you can get there for the decoration. 
Oh, thank you, Olga. Yes, please hit the like for the video so it will be more visible. And officially we hit 200 people watching the Steam Pack Relative alteration process. So guys, you are amazing and you're making my day. <laughs> thank you. I'm really grateful. I got a lot of support in the last uh, in the last uh, weeks from you. I saw so many projects inspired by what we did during the hops or during the trash to treasure challenge and they keep coming and now you are supporting me here and on my Patreon and this is just absolutely lovely and um, I can't really express how grateful I am for all you do. And now, yeah, I know I keep repeating that, but this is true. I just keep saying same things, but this is absolutely true. I am so grateful I'm able to do this as my full-time job and I'm able to make the products for you, teach classes, see wonderful people in person, you know, have this possibility to meet them uh, do in the classrooms, but also find new friends and new amazing personalities online. This is how we make connections. So thank you for making that all possible. In the meantime, when I'm talking, thank you, Alexandra. Thank you. <laughs> this dog is the best. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to add more of the details. So as you can see, I'm kind of gluing pro. I can talk and glue at the same time. So I hope you uh, understand. I do it for my living, so it's not so easy to lose my um, focus. When I glue, I'm just in my zone, so we have this quite big. Maybe we are going to add something here on the top. Hmm, pen nib, maybe. Um, the wing? No, it looks funny. I need something on the other side to cover the lace as well. Oh, second layer of cogs. Thank you so much. <laughs> the stuff is really new. <laughs> oh, you are so kind. Thank you. And let's put the pen nib on the other side. I'm not so bad. I'm looking at the clock. It's still plenty of time. Yes, smaller star. That's a very good idea. I'm going to go to stars in a moment. That's a very good tip. Stars. Yeah. I want to show more of this stamp here. Let's see if I can find some stars. I have the box with stars somewhere. Ta -da. Yeah, you told me that you are <laughs> impressed how organized I am. The truth is, uh, I know some of you have seen the video I made of my studio. I have so um, many boxes because I use a lot of um, products for classes. Um, I have a lot of tools. I keep working on the product designing. Thank you, Valkyria. Thank you so much. <laughs> so I have to have the system and I still believe I'm not very organized. In fact, one day my friend came and she labeled some of my boxes for me. So you can imagine I was afraid to touch them after that because if she would come again um, and she would see that, oh, I ruined her hard work. I would feel so bad. But she is the sweetest person ever. Such a great cheerleader. <laughs> thank you, Lisa. Thank you. Like, ah, oh, thank you. I'm just throwing stars for you here. <laughs> thank you, Valkyria. Thank you, Lisa. Um, okay, for all that sponsoring, I have to give you some special story or some special treat. I show you something. This is a unique way of altering your embellishments. 
So if you have a project that got broken because you were using it so much during the classes, for example, oh, <laughs> look at that, Lisa, that is cool. Um, for example, it's a layout that is not good anymore, but you can't remove your embellishments because you glue them with your heavy body gel and everything stays there. You can absolutely put it into fire and whatever is metal is going to stay and look like this after that. So you will have perfectly rusty and ready to apply set of embellishments. So I just put it into my stove and recover that after that. <laughs> so unique way of altering, just throw it into fire. And uh, my embellishments are going to survive as well. So let's have a look at the composition. <laughs> Um, we are going to dry it and in the meantime I will think should I add something else there's one thing I really want to add and I will show you in a moment just give me a second to dry it and I will read some of the comments what do you mean don't do it at home <laughs> yes uh, don't make a bonfire on your <laughs> um, on your carpet and I really mean it uh, my cousins two wonderful boys in the age of six and five, they made bonfire in the apartment. So don't do that. Do it outside, or if you have a chance, like me, to have the stove, just throw it inside of your fireplace or inside of the stove. Is that okay? We covered the safety measures. <laughs> thank you, Claudia, for joining. <laughs> and thank you, Zulima. Uh, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. You are so generous and so kind. Thank you. So I'm just trying to dry from different angles. I'm drying the gel and now we're going to add coat of gesso to it, but it's going to be a surprise. I'm just thinking if I need to add anything more and there's one thing I missed. I will show you that in a moment. Yeah, you have, you put nails into wood burner. Exactly, this is how it works right so they get the special finish that's exactly how you do it caroline <laughs> what to do, do with the nails what do you mean cindy mcdonald cindy look what to do with the nails uh, these are not nails but they are screws and i think they're absolutely beautiful add-on to your project <laughs> Um, I use them into uh, in the um, wooden panels as well. I can screw them in or I just uh, using the hammer, I just put them back into the wood as well. Uh, pff, question about the heat gun. It's the same as the hair dryer, but the blow is not as aggressive as the hair dryer. So things are not flying away that much. That is the only difference. It's hotter and it doesn't blow with such strong force. So when you are having something more delicate and you're afraid that it may fly away, uh, this is better solution. <laughs> yeah, flame grit embellishments. Mm, that's probably not very good official name of it, but yeah. So let me show you the special treat I wanted to use. Thank you so much, Olya. You are the best. Thank you, thank you. And thank you, Angela. You can see what that is. It's the old measuring tape, the one that you probably have in this um, spool that you open. And now I want to add that on the top or on the bottom. I just need to measure maybe that much. Don't use your good scissors for that, okay? I have special scissors just for grungy projects now. I think on the bottom. Okay, it's a little bit too long. Oh, yes. And on the top of that, I'm going to put the title. And the title is very much like Steampunk. It's Journey. Journey. So I want the journey to be more dimensional. So I'm going to put it on the top of the 3D foam squares or 3D, 3D foam tape. <laughs> Thank you so much. I am, okay, I have to tell you, my design team members 
are not only wonderful, talented people, but they're also very kind and friendly. They help each other, they help me, they are really working as a team, they're perfect team workers and they support each other. They really show a lot of attention to each other as well. So this is one of the reasons I feel I'm really blessed that I'm able to work with uh, people like that. So look, it's my stream <laughs> and we have probably half of my design team already here because they just wanted to come and have a look and say hi. So that is great. Also, I have a lot of friends who are joining and helping and this is wonderful. And um, I would like to thank you all for the huge help uh, to, my, uh, to my design team and to my ambassadors. So just look, Cindy is here as well. Uh, she's my brand ambassador. Uh, Vasily is here. Karen is here. They are all great support. So if you like their project, if you like what they do, please show them some love from time to time. Because I'm trying and I'm trying to be in most of the places, but I can't be everywhere. So this would be great if you could do that for them, okay? They're really trying hard and they're really great. I had such wonderful response from them for, you know, to all the ideas we were doing. Uh, even the one that we are trying to put together uh, now. So making live streams on Facebook for people when they are staying at home so much or making the extra videos for them. They're not, you know, they're not required to do this. There is a limit of the um, projects they are supposed to do, do each month, but they wanted to do it. They wanted to do it. And they, you know, um, if they only can, if their family situation is allowing them, they're just volunteering their free time. And I'm so grateful for that. Thank you so much, Dream Worlds Butterfly. You are like my, one of my most, um, wonderful viewers i can see you in every live as well as well as some of the names they're repeating all the time and thank you for coming and thank you for supporting i really had great great time with you yesterday and i'm going great time with you today and um, i just want to say that i see you and i really love you all Thank you for the time. Thank you for support. Thank you for all the things you we make together. Thank you. Ah, oh, you can follow live session for the first time. That's perfect. Let's hope this is not the last time. So guys, when you are drying something like this, try to go into deeper layers. Look what I'm doing with my heat gun. Can you see? I'm trying to go under so the elements are really gluing nicely. Also make sure you're not burning your fingers. This is all, like 90% of that is metal. So if I will touch it, I may burn my fingers. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I'm trying to check if the elements are moving or not. Sometimes they are moving because the gel is very hot. So oh, it's almost there. I'm trying to put the kid gun somewhere. So now it's time to change it. And usually you see me putting a lot of color on my projects, but today the plan is, in fact, to, um, maybe I'll leave this, <laughs> um, to see as much of the natural beauty of this as possible. So we don't want to kill it all, right? So there's really nice color palette already. It's supposed to be steampunk, so it's supposed to stay um, rusty. It's supposed to stay metal. So there is a way we want to add delicate touches. In fact, look at that, right? Thank you, Barry Lane Art. Thank you, Barry Lane. That is beautiful. Thank you. So this is the plan. We are going to follow that idea. I'm going to use purple and rusty. I know this is, people say this is color palette for Halloween, but I don't agree. Absolutely, I don't agree. And I think I'm missing paper clip here. I will just look for something that is going to be good paper clip. 
You think paper clip will be a good idea? Look at these bad boys. <laughs> well, this is a bad boy. This is a really big one. But um, yeah, paper clip. Oh, that's much better. Yeah, much better. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Alexandra. And thank you guys for all the encouragement. Now we are going to use clear gesso. Clear gesso is not going to change the color of the project. It's just going to make everything matte. So these metal parts, which are shiny, are going to turn matte. And this going to, it's going to accept the future colors much better. So this is trick if you really want to show the natural beauty of the objects. And I know a lot of you, you were using black gesso, you were using white gesso already. But the truth is, clear gesso I made for Prima is the best selling medium from all of them. I can see the results sometimes. They send me the results every couple of months. Clear gesso is the winner. And uh, that's great because I really was trying to convince them to release this product according to what I like. And I'm very, very grateful it happened because clear gesso is game changer. First of all, I'm painting the photo. I want to be able to add some color to it as well. And this was glossy finish. So no mercy. We are painting the guy as well. He's just going to turn matte. We are painting this. We are painting the nails and the stars, wherever we can touch with our brush. Especially the ones which are glossy finish. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to see so many people. 224, can you imagine? I can't believe it. We, I think this is the new record, the new best of the best of the best we did so far. I'm so grateful to you all. Oh, sorry, 230 at the moment. 230. <laughs> and my chat stopped again. Hopefully it's going to start. Oh, yay. Uh, yes, it's working now. Thank you. Whew. I think too many of you and uh, YouTube just freaked out for a moment. <laughs> Thank you, Anna. This is very true. I'm very blessed with my design team members. Can you see how quickly this dries? You know why? Because it was so hot, so clear gesso dries very quickly. And you can't really see it. So this is our step with clear gesso. Thank you, Christine, for joining us as a, a supporter. Thank you so much for doing that. Guys, for those of you who don't know, I just start uh, started this weekend two ways of supporting me as an artist. First one is joining the page here, which is really lovely. And you can do it anytime and you can leave anytime as well. You get some special treats. And the second one, which is on the separate page, it's Patreon, which is the way to be my official patron. There are five tiers available, including really cool things such as goodie bag giveaways and uh, free videos or live streams. You just have to check it out and see if this is something you would like to do. Like I was trying to compare to in the morning and it, Patreon gives me much more options of contacting with you. So I can send you direct messages and I can thank you, Anya. Thank you so much. And I can send you newsletter and I can send you links directly, which I can't really do that easily with YouTube. I think they should improve their ways. But, um, you know, it's just, the, it's just the beginning. Officially, everything is going to start in the week. And uh, 
I hope you're going to join me on my Patreon or here because this is helping me to stay at home and create art. And that makes huge difference. Can you see how this is um, matte and nicely finished? I think my husband just uh, posted the Patreon link. So if you'd like to check that out, I would love it. You can do it after because it, there's quite a lot of reading because there's a lot of nice stuff you can get from me. Now we're going to talk about the colors and believe it or not, we're going to use mica powders. Mica powders. Who's got mica powders at home? Huh? <laughs> I tried to find the colors which are going to match the best. So I'm going to use mica powders in purple and gold. Not too much purple, not too much gold. I will just try to use them instead of paint. They're going to add this delicate shimmer, but they are not going to be overpowering. So I'm just going to sprinkle and dry. I'm adding purple yeah, and gold. This is easier when you have the new ones. The new ones are really cool because they really work as the shaker. Yeah, you've got makeup powder, so perfect. I mean, maybe I'm going to add a little bit of this black cherry. Oh, yes, the shakers are much better, thank you. This is fresh one. Nobody used it before. Well, nobody, me. There's nobody else here. At least not now. <laughs> okay, so we have these colors and I'm going to add, look at this. I'm going to add my gold. You know, you can put them into water and spray them that is one of the ways as well, but I was too lazy to do it, so I'm just doing with a more freestyle way. Trying to find the colors that are going to match my steampunk color palette. So some rusty and some purple. I think I need more gold on the bottom. And now it's going to be huge confetti of mica powder. So let's hope everything will go according to the plan. Yeah. Yay. Now I can take part of it off his face. So he's not going to be too colored. Quick and easy solution. Now, if you have too much in certain places, this is the moment to pick it up. For example, with your favorite baby wipe. And then we will dry it and we will add finishing touches. How quick was that and how simple? Sorry, I just touched my phone again. <laughs> Just look at that part. It's absolutely beautiful. Yay! I'm glad you like it. I'm so happy you like it. Yeah, you know when you talk that quickly, the chat just freezes for me. <laughs> it's amazing. Thank you so much guys for doing it. I just have to dry it completely before I will do anything else to them. But just look at this shimmer. Thank you.
Look at this, how it's moving. Oh, yeah, I can see why my chat froze for a moment. You were talking so quickly. I just couldn't keep up and also my chat was not able to keep up. So many hearts and so many love. Um. Thank you. So now, quick finishes. First of all, it's not bad at all. If you want to keep that and to make sure nothing happens after, you can spray some fixative on the top and you can do also some hairspray. That's another option. Now we can work on the photo and we can do on a little bit of the finishing touches. So for example, if you really want to improve something, you can touch a tiny bit with wax here and there just to show the details. I'm using white gold. Yeah. If you would like to show the details of the edges, for example, here. Yeah. I don't want to cover too much because it was naturally beautiful anyway. Now we are going to work with the rusty finish. I'm not going to use the rust dough. <laughs> the plan is to use something else. I don't want to cover too much of it because it's so pretty. So I can see I'm just touching with my finger in a very delicate way. So that's number one. Now, <laughs> finish number two. Metallic paint, flame color. Tiny bits of the paint is just metallic and lovely. So I'm going to use it with water, a lot of water. Water sprayer. Just in some selected parts. Not too much. And some splatters. This paint has beautiful mica inside. So you're going to see after. It's in fact beautiful orange mica. <laughs> we'll dry it and then we will do micro beads and water coloring on the picture. Thank you. You are so enthusiastic, guys. Thank you. Really, this chat keeps freezing because of you. I have to tell you that you are the most wonderful group of people. Um, you don't see the difference between Patreon and this membership because it is basically the same. However, on Patreon, more money goes to my pocket and I have much more ways to spoil you because I can send you direct messages. I can get in touch with you. I can send you links. And YouTube, I can't message any single person. I can only send group message to everybody, which was kind of disappointing to discover if that is answer to your question, Cindy. And on Patreon, you have five tiers to pick. And here there are three. So if that makes sense, if you can decide between one on the second, I suggest Patreon for many reasons. And one of them is my own comfort of being in touch with you, really. So I'm not even mentioning the difference in the 
uh, money that goes to the creator in fact because youtube is not very cheap but i appreciate any kind of help so if it's easier for you here please do it please do it now guys the easy way to add something to your picture when you already have white gesso on it or clear gesso on it we still have 10 minutes so i'm okay they're just watercolor pencils okay watercolor pencils and my colors are apparently here i've got some purples so let's say we're going to add some purples in the background and some oranges so that matches the composition a little bit better and see what happens i don't have the brown but i don't think i need it you know watercolor pencils prima or faber castell or any other they are just going to react in a beautiful way. So it looks like smudges of paint. And what happens if you go even more on the top, they get darker. I just pick these ones because I have them on my table, but any other crayon that will react with water is going to give you similar effect. And because because it is already um, painted with clear gesso, you can do it with any kind of pencil, really. You don't really have to worry. I'm just going to add the colors. You can do it with watercolors if you have them. I'm just really bad with watercolors. Crayons are easier for me. So if you feel that you you would like to do something to the project this is one of the ideas these pencils if, yeah i think they are in mixed media place they are sold in sets and they're also watercolor pencils from prima which work exactly the same way they look like this and they are very good watercolor pencils you can use crayons of different kinds. Uh, some people love using Neocolor. I am uh, not a huge watercolor person, so not because I don't like it, it's because it's completely flat. And me and flat is not <laughs> always easy. So how simple is that? Even if you have the uh, crayons, um, these dress crayons from Tim Holtz, you can do that as well. Yeah? Just trying to give you ideas what you can use. So maybe you have something at home already and you don't have to uh, look for the new product. However, these these ones from Faber-Castell, they're really nice. Uh, they work. I will show you one more trick. You can even go on the top of embellishments, if they're painted. <laughs> so if you're missing a color, look. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> so that is another thing you can do, adding watercolors. It's like more artistic touch to it. And if you have any questions, I'm very happy to answer. I'll just try to restart the chat again. It's the problem when we get too excited, <laughs> things stop. I think, okay. I think it is working again. You want to see it closer? It's very simple technique. Very simple. You can do it with any kind of watercolor. And the only thing is it has to be matte photo. So if your photo is glossy, like these photos, when you get them, they have gloss. I'm not sure if you can see, yeah? You have to use clear gesso first, right? Oh, this one has a lot of gloss. 
that is one of the things. Last thing you can do, because we still have time, surprisingly, I'm absolutely on the top of the things today. <laughs> I can't believe it. Uh, we can finish by adding tiny bit of the micro beads. Yeah, so if you feel that you would like to add them somewhere, I have some spots where I would like to add maybe a bit of these micro bits. I think, yeah, I think the white gold. You can use soft gel and sprinkle just in the selected places. So guys, the time is when we are going very close to the um, finish. And you would like to visit our next wonderful artist, my brand ambassador, Karen Tamir. Karen is um, one of the people who are organizing this hop for you. So make sure you're going to send her some love. And once I will finish <laughs> my project, which I'm doing now, I will also visit you and we will chat at Karen's um place it's going to be in the next five minutes so you still have plenty of time i'm just now doing the last step sprinkling oh sprinkling my micro beads for the last finishing touches and i used soft gel which is transparent very very delicate and very sticky gel medium so if you feel there was texture missing in your project, here it is. And guys, um, I hope I kept you entertained because I was trying to make something a bit different, something that is based on real objects and maybe a little bit forgotten supplies, the ones which are uh, not uh, first choice when it comes to steampunk. So I hope I was able to keep you entertained. Uh, I think link to Karen is in the uh, bottom part of my video. And you can see the uh, link to my Patreon as well. And you can see um, all of the links to the products in the chat. So once it is going to be uploaded properly, you can come back and see what I was using. Thank you so much for being here with me. I'm going to upload the photos of that to my Instagram and to my um, group on Facebook tomorrow. So I just need to take the good photos. And I'm absolutely grateful for having you all here. So here is my um, steampunk relative. This is the cousin of this man here. You can see probably, right? And um, here is one more. Oh, this is a very old project I made. Maybe you can even find video somewhere when I was making that one. So this is how you can create project using found objects, mica powders, clear gesso, and watercolor pencils. Hopefully you enjoyed. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for being here. If you have any questions, I'm going to answer now because th these are like the last moments. And boy, I'm happy I did it on time. <laughs> so um, we have to uh, pick the name for my new uh, grand great uncle, I think. And um, that's going to be a really fun project to post, I think. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you to uh, Alexandra, Karen, and uh, thank you to my husband, thank you my husband and Tiffany for answering all the questions. Thank you to Vasily who was here and uh, talking. Thank you to Nuneka as well. Thank you to all of you. They're really thank to all of you for um, joining and helping and great, great thanks to all the patrons I got on Patreon since yesterday. And we have 16 people, I didn't even start advertising that. And huge thanks to all the people who joined the YouTube membership. And, uh, you are the best and you are making miracles just by supporting others. That is huge. That is the best thing that may happen when you are an artist. So I'm deeply grateful. 
I am so happy to be part of this community. I'm happy that I was invited to join this hop and I'm so very blessed to be with you. So now guys, time to go to Karen. I can see, I can still see a lot of people here. Why you are not with Karen already? Please go to Karen. It's time to say hello to the new wonderful project. Time to go to Karen. Thank you. <laughs> And if you can give me thumbs up for this pro uh, video as well, we are going to have the good quality photos tomorrow. <laughs> and um, if you can come back later and leave a comment, it's going to be wonderful as well. Thank you so much for subscribing, for joining, for support. Thank you. <laughs> I have to just I have to, to switch off because you're not going to go anywhere, I think. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Yeah, 160 until now. Like, really? You go to Karen now. It's time. Bye. Bye-bye.